A fantastic midweek matchup on tap. The Vols and the Wildcats are underway with a swinging strike. Right-hander downhill with a 2-2. And a strike three call. 2-2. Back up the middle and into center field. A one-out single for Brendan Jones. Past the outstretch curly, and K-State has its first base runner of the ball game. Rides high. Jones will not pick up the stolen base, but does move into scoring position as the first walk is issued on 1-1. One, one. We'll have to wait. And the throw sails into center field. Might have nicked Jones, but everyone advances 90 feet. And now the Wildcats have two in scoring position at the top of the first with just one out. And two in scoring position as Day launches it up the middle into center field, base hit. Jones is in to score. Culpepper windmilled behind him, a two RBI single for Brady Day in the top of the first, puts the Wildcats in front by a pair. Break even offer, breaking ball, strike three call. Payoff pitch is strike three call. Fastball in the top of the zone, two strike pitch, slider strike three. Boy, that has really been working. The sweeper from Borma. Borma rocks and fires. Line to deep center field. Jones on the way back in front of the warning track. Jumps up and can't handle it. Bounced out of the glove. Peebles chugging into second. A runner in scoring position with one out for Tennessee. Lifted high in the air, center field and deep. Jones on the way back and watches it fly. Dylan Dryling has homered in back-to-back -back games and we are tied in the second. Two out base runner. And settled in strong in the Big 12. As Moore launches to center field, gets down for a base hit. Ensley around second. He goes corner to corner. And that's where they offer Tennessee first and third with two out in the second. Blake Burke. And the lefty goes down the left field line. Opposite field into the corner. Ensley's in to take the lead. Moore windmilled around third. Here comes the throw to the plate. It is well in time on the relay from left field. A nice throw from the shortstop Culpepper to cut down what would have been the second run. When Borma back to work for Kansas State. His first pitch to Billy Amick is launched high and deep to left. And that is way gone. Oh, Billy Barrels back at it again. A tape measure blast for Amick, and it's 4-2 Tennessee. But certainly not playing in big win. That's a tough play. No play. Infield single for Tierce. A bouncy ball on the infield turf. And a four-pitch walk. Tap it at first. Bishop charging in. Flips to Borma. Loses the foot race. The bases are loaded. Oh, that is launched to left. Touch them all, Dean Curley. Grand slam. And the Vols have surged in front, 8-2. Goes after the first pitch. Forget it. Oh, man. Christian Moore mashes one out of the park. Third home run of the half inning. 
and it's a 9-2 Tennessee lead. Payoff pitch, ball four. First Wildcat to reach against Nate Sneed, and they find themselves in a 9-2 hole. Runner goes, but it was ball four. 12 there two years ago for the Horned Frogs. Back pick to first. Oh, they had the runner, but the ball got by Burke, and now everyone moves up 90 feet. Strikeout tonight. Bounced up the middle, that'll score a run as Curley fires to first for the out. An RBI for David Bishop in the nine spot. K-State picks up a run. The 1-1 pitch. In the alley and left center, hanging in the air. Ensley giving chase, will not get there. One hops the wall. Pelletier scores with ease, a stand-up double for Chuck Ingram. Now 9-4, to two runs in. 2-2 two -two pitch, strike three, swinging. Jones down on strikes, that's least this powerful offense. Lines it into left for a leadoff single there. Just sitting on the 3-1 pitch. On the 3-0 pitch, Tears takes ball four. And this one, yeah. Gonna change here. Dumped in the left, that's a base knock, Amick Coming home from second, score standing up. RBI single for Robin Villeneuve. And the balls jump to double digits, 10-4 lead. Got the runners caught. Tierce, safe at third, then off the bag and called out. Coming to Peebles. And yields a walk. And he ropes one to deep left. Ingram racing back. He's looking up. It's gone. Two homer day for the freshman, Dean Curley. This time it's a three run blast. He's driven home seven, and it's a nine run lead. Freshman team, his first season. That's sent to the gap. Ensley will chase after it, won't get there. One hops off the top of the wall, right at the yellow lining. And a leadoff stand-up double for Kalen Culpepper. That's Nick English. You're gonna say that grazed him. Rifled up the middle, off the glove. And everybody is safe. Daniel Rivera sends one up the middle, could be two. More shuffles to Curley, on to first, it's a double play. Four, six, three to end the inning. So it's Cannon Peebles, he leads off the bottom of the six with a base hit into center field. Peebles has been on all four times tonight. Looking for strikeout number three. Dryling drives it to deep center field. Jones backpedaling. He's in front of the warning track. Makes the catch of the cap as Laurie tags and chugs into third. That 10th cushion run is 90 feet away. Curly to center field and deep. Jones on the way back. Look it up. And he has done it again. Three home run game for Dean Curley. The freshman says welcome to the show. And the 2-2 pitch. Hit well, deep left. Dryly not chasing it. That's a home run for Caden Phillips off the bench. First home run of the season for Phillips. And a late charge into this K-State offense. Strike three call. For Pete Hughes. 3-1 here. Yeah, that's ball four, a one-out walk. In Canada, British Columbia. 
Works his way aboard. Four pitch walk. First time this year. Inside, that gets away from Stark, the catcher. Both runners advance, both in scoring position. Tipped into the mitt, strike three. Second strikeout for Loy. Winds the 0-2. Strike three, swinging. Yeah, the freshman fired up as he punches out three in the ninth. Works around a couple of walks. Thank you.